Aptera released their monthly update yesterday, and it was an awesome update. Something Aptera fans have been waiting for for many years. This is the first production build they have done. 100% production parts, and it's drivable at low speed. This is kind of the first step. The next step is we'll be adding all the A services. So kind of enclosing everything up and then taking it for validation on the road for higher speed. So to confirm, this one is PI2. They'll have the, they'll put the solar on, they'll put the rest of the stuff on the front, the hood, the side covers, the rear skirt, so they can take it to validate their range efficiencies, things like that. PI3 um, will also be drivable, but it would mainly be working on the interior from what I understand. And then PI4 will be kind of be the combination of those two. It'll be its own separate vehicle as well. But that will be completely finished inside and out. And that will be like the press vehicle. And that's going to be really exciting to see that. So it's I really like this video. It's nice to see all the hard work from all the employees that have put in long days, long hours to get it to the step. And it's it's amazing. Just the finish of this, it's very proud of all these guys and the November update is going to be amazing. We're going to see a lot of progress in this next month. So the other thing that was kind of interesting was on One World Live, this was at the automotive conference. I'll play just this quick part, but there, he, Steve Frambrough is talking about an OEM that have reached out to them about using their solar technology. As far as which one that would be, the only ones that really care about aerodynamics a lot would be either Tesla or Lucid, I would think. There may be others, but Lucid has a craving for aer aerodynamic efficiency. So I could see maybe them or it's hard to say who else. Maybe let me know in the comments, but I'll just play this a quick part. Would you work with if you were, um, uh, let me rephrase that. Has anybody come to you to say, hey, let's be friends? Um, uh, yes, uh, I think maybe since we last talked, we had uh, a phone call with an OEM about integration of our not only panel technology, but the high voltage electronics into your vehicle. So uh, maybe offline we can talk more about that. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully that turned into something. And it's really cool to see this. I, I love how beefy this looks for the wheel covers. Like it's a really nice solid attachment point. And it's just amazing to see if this as far as aerodynamics on these parts going out to the wheels, I think that's probably maybe the best they can do. So I'm really looking forward to like their range, the efficiency numbers once all the A services where the hood covers, hood is covered, everything else is covered, which I would imagine would take place, you know, fairly quickly, a couple of weeks, I would guess. but. Yeah, let me know your comments. Uh, if there's anything else you kind of noticed in this video that was interesting. This is someone confirmed on the Discord that this is a LiPo battery for the 12 volt, which is nice to see. And yeah, pretty awesome update. Probably one of my favorite updates in quite some time. So let me know your thoughts. Yeah.